Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome back. Today, I wanna to teach you how to easily use your Canon M50 as a webcam. Pretty easy. There are two ways to do it. Well, there might be more than two ways, but there are two main ways to do it. The more difficult way is with a capture card. The easy way for beginners is with the Canon webcam utility software. And you could just go on the website. I'll show you how to get it. I'll show you how to set it up. And hopefully in less than five or 10 minutes, you'll be able to use your Canon M50 as a webcam. Before I get into the video, please like and subscribe, hit that notification button. It'll help me greatly. And I really wanna interact with you guys. I love when you ask me some questions and I'd love to help you guys out. With that said, let's get to the video and I'll show you on my computer how to get this all set up and you'll be ready to go in no time. Come on. Woo! The first thing you'll want to do is come to the EOS Webcam Utility website. I'll link this in the description below. It'll bring you here, and what you want to do is just scroll down, choose what operating system you'll be using. I use a Mac, so I'll simply click on Mac Official Release, and it'll give me all the instructions here and features. I scroll down a little bit more. It'll tell me all the applications that the utility will work with. FaceTime, Discord, Hangouts, Skype, Zoom, YouTube Live, etc. There's a whole bunch right now. Keep scrolling down. It'll give you some compatibility details here for whatever literal OS you're using, whether it's Catalina, Mojave, or High Sierra. It'll have a support form if you want to read that. A quick start guide here. But then you get to the instructions. And they're fairly simple. You select your model. We'll scroll down in a bit. Select the Drivers and Download tab, Software tab, and then your Operating System. Usually it'll recognize it. Then you find the EOS Webcam Utility, and then you download it. So we'll do that right now. Keep scrolling down. Do you have a Power Shot or do you have a Digital? This video is for a Canon M50. So I'll look for the EOS Canon M50, which is right here. Click on that. And here is all of the drivers, software, firmware, utilities. They said to click on software, so it looks like it defaults to it already. If not, just click here under drivers and downloads, software. Scroll down, and here is the EOS Webcam Utility version 1.0. All you do is click select, and this field comes up. I'm not too sure if you have to fill it out, because I'm going to X out. And now all you have to do, hopefully, is hit download. And it'll start downloading to your downloads folder. Keep in mind, I already have this installed. So I go to my download section and here is the package. Just double click it. And then it's just standard install. Hit continue, hit continue, hit continue, agree. And then all you have to do is hit install. I'm not going to click install because I already have it installed. Once you hit install, it will install and it will probably ask you to restart your computer. Just let it install and restart. I am going to click off. Once you have it installed and your computer reboots, just open up any of your softwares that you have. I'm gonna test it on Zoom. Now that I'm in Zoom, I'll just go to Zoom US, Preferences, Video, and it should default to your FaceTime camera. I already have my Canon M50 plugged in via USB cable, so I will click on the drop down, and you should see EOS Webcam Utility. Just click EOS Webcam Utility once you have the software installed and your camera connected via USB. So we'll click it now, and this is video coming out of my M50. Let me just tilt the screen and you can see me. You probably can't hear me very well, but this is now my Canon M50 as a webcam in Zoom. And that is pretty much it. Yeah. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Remember, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It helps me out a great deal. This is fairly straightforward. If you have any questions, remember there's the documents in the page before that will explain all the instructions, but I'm more than happy to answer your questions in the comments. Talk to you soon.